tight that seam is. You see that seam? The reason why it's so tight is because every time I weld it, I hammer it down. And when you hammer it down while it's still hot, it's going to stay in its shape. So what that's gonna do is make the metal super tight against the other metal, creating that factory finish. Not a lot of people are gonna tell you that. Not a lot of people are gonna tell you their secrets. But I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Paint rings, everything is like right where it should be. And that's what you wanna do. Anytime you're welding something, anytime you're replacing something, as long as you line up all the factory lines, all the paint lines, all the bolt holes, all the little things that you know where the part goes, like right here, come here, let me show you. Let me show you, look. You don't ever have to worry as long as you do this. Right here, we have a factory line of paint. Nate show them that line real good. And uh, that's where this was right here. So it got painted over and now there is a permanent uh, line there. And on this side, as you can see also, there's a line. You see here, this is a line. Look, when you line this and this up, it's a little bent right now, but when you line these two up, it's perfect. You don't need no all data measurements or no Facebook manual or whatever it is that you think that frame guys use. You don't need any of that crap. You just need all the original parts. Everything goes back like a puzzle. That's why you always use, you don't use them dealer parts. Well, yeah, them dealer parts, man. People think, oh, why don't you buy dealer parts? Hey, listen, buddy, I can take parts off of a car and put them on the other car, line them up super easy. If I get parts from a dealer, first of all, they may not even fit. And they ain't gonna have, they ain't gonna have threads in them. <laughs> that happens a lot. They won't have threads in them. They ain't gonna have a bunch of extra, come here, look at this. Look at how much extra bolts and nuts and brackets and yep. seat belts. Dealer is not gonna let you have any of that. They're hey, gonna rob you for that. When we bought that quarter panel for that Porsche, we got a ECU, we got a uh, airbag, we got an airbag controller module, and we got something else. It was $1,000 worth of parts in one part, and they didn't charge us a dime for any of those parts just because they didn't take them off. So, trust me, it's way better than going to the dealer. Well, I let the dealer make all the money when we can make all the money. Exactly, man. All right, so the next thing to do would be to probably go ahead and weld this section back in.
framework on the Honda Pilot. We got it pulled off the frame rack and we are here in our Bondo area. Uh, we decided we are gonna go ahead and do the body work and uh, get this thing knocked out before we leave uh, on our little mini vacation. Uh, so we are here in the bodywork area, but check out how good everything fits up. The quarter lines up really nice, the lid lines up. I can't get the lid to open with the electronic button for some reason. I don't know why, but no matter how hard I've tried, no matter what I've done, it won't open. And then when it opens, it makes a bunch of noises, it beeps and it just acts all crazy. But I'm gonna open it up real quick. On the inside, everything is all welded up. Uh, now we need to go ahead and seam all these little areas right here where the spot welds are, and then replace some of this soundproofing. Uh, we didn't really damage that much of the soundproofing. I was able to straighten out most of this floor right here in this area without damaging too much of it. Uh, but there's a special stuff that you can buy to put it back here, and it looks kind of sort of OEM, not really, but close enough for who it's for. Uh, but up here, uh, just need to surface the welds and uh, paint everything and that's it. There's not really much body work uh, besides sealing up that area. So still kind of a lot of work left, but we can knock it out. Uh, here we have a nice factory edge. <laughs> He's a factory edge. Nate, do you think we should recreate these spot welds? Right there? I mean, I don't know. I think I will. I think you should. Hard. I think you should. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, about 13, 14 spot was. That's not going to be a big deal. Uh, but yeah, everything's looking really good. Like, Wait, it sounds like, sounds like you're trying to do the body work on it. Is that what you're going to do? No, no. What I'll do is I'll just surface these spot welds and then make the spot welds. Uh, but look, everything's turning out. Like once we get all this seamed up and everything finished up, it's going to look just like factory. You know? Tail lights on. I'm going to put one more bolt in there. But it looks super good, man. Super good. And the uh, soft close works beautifully. So that's nice. Uh, bumper lines up really nice. Very happy with it, man. I'm super happy with how it turned out. It was a lot of work, but we got it. We're almost done. And uh, full disclosure, this is not actually our car. We said it's our car, but it's not. It's our friend's car. But it's technically ours because we've had it for so long that uh, it almost became ours. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm super excited to get this thing done. Uh, we are almost through with it. I'd say probably another one day on body work and then one day on paint and it should be done. Yeah, right? I think so. If we really jumped on it and knocked it out, just focused on just this car, I think we could knock it out, get it all seamed up, get it all done and uh, get this thing out of here, you know, get paid. Get, make some money. You gotta make some money, man. Yeah, we got a lot of other stuff planned. Uh, the problem is, is that we are leaving. We have two weddings to go to out west. That's the thing about having a big extended family. Uh, you know, you got a lot of cousins getting married. I don't know why they're out there falling in love and getting married so fast and so much, but uh, it should be pretty fun. So we're gonna be gone for a while, which we will probably film some content, won't we, Nate? Oh, 100%. I'm sure we'll find something to film. Uh, but we got this platinum over here. When we get back, we gotta fix this thing. This, this truck is super nice. Uh, let me show you guys something on this. This right here was an auction scam. Now you show them that frame rail. Can you see it? Do I need to shed some light on yeah, the situation? Yeah, you definitely need to shed some light on it. Look at that. Do you see that? What the heck is that? So that, that frame rail right there was bent all the way over, like all the way over. You know how it kinks and bends? And then uh, when they pulled it back out, they didn't use heat. So instead of all the kinks coming back out, they just stayed in there, they just straightened the rail out. And then they filled the entire area up with welds, which is an old school hack that is very easy to do. And you can crank out frame jobs all day long and probably make more money than I do doing that but we gotta fix that we gotta fix all the gaps all the gaps on this thing are jacked up uh along the doors along the headlights uh the front grill is not from a platy not from a platy so we gotta put a platinum grill on it and then i do believe we have to do something here i don't know if we have to paint it or whatever we have to do but i don't think that that's the platinum bumper 
Uh, headlights, they look okay though. I don't know. What do you think, Nate? Are those aftermarkets? I don't know what those, those are. I've, I've, never, I've never seen one of these trucks in life. But yeah, the guy that bought this truck, he's uh, he lives outside the country, so he doesn't live in the States. And so he sent somebody some money and told them, hey, buy me this truck off the auction, and uh, I want to get it rebuilt so I can have a truck here in the States. And this is what he ended up with, finished product. So, a uh, huge shout out to Vlad at LNC. Uh, he is actually the one who referred this guy over to us. And uh, basically the guy was like, I don't know who to trust. I got screwed over twice already, and I just don't know what to do with the truck. I'm already super deep in the truck. I don't know what to do. And Vlad said, hey, head up Yuri over at 23rd Garage. He'll hook you up. And the man sent the truck right down here. So, you know you're doing something right if Vlad uh, recommends you. But uh, we're gonna get it done. We're gonna get it done. Uh, I think Paul will start working on it while we're gone, but uh, when we get back, we're gonna do the framework. So that's gonna be super exciting. And uh, what else we got? Oh, Austin is going to be leaving on Tuesday, so stay tuned for a video on the Austin. We're gonna be doing a video, right, Nate? Yes, sir, yes, uh, sir. First and final, well, second video probably, right? Third. Third. But final video, finale, the grand finale, man. I, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. I'm so excited to see that car get given away. Got given, got, or whatever you do, gifted. Also, I would like to mention, I am uh, looking to possibly sell the E92. So if anybody is interested, I uh, will probably be asking around 30,000 for it, open to offers and whatnot. But car looks super good. Look how clean it is. A huge shout out to Andrew over at Chattanooga Headlight Restoration. He detailed it for me today. Did a really good job, man. Cleaned this sucker up head to toe on the inside. Now I just need to clean the outside real good. Got all the carbon all around it. It's got these carbon diffuser right here. Little carbon lips on the sides. It's got the carbon M tips. Super cool. And also the carbon spoiler, of course. Super nice as well. And it's got the carbon roof, of course, you guys know about that. But super clean interior. Oh my goodness, how could you not fall in love with that? Look at that steering wheel. Carbon fiber steering wheel, manual. It's got the double hump dash, it's got the full leathers. It's got every bell and whistle that you could want in an E92. And it's got headers, it's got high flow cats, it's got a tune on it. It's got an uh, intake. Let's, let's pop the hood real quick. I feel like a ricer, man. I feel like a ricer naming off all my specs. He's got the Machinel cold air intake. Super nice, sounds super good. Look how clean that motor is, Nate. Zoom in on that motor and show him. That thing has been rebuilt top to bottom. Now, but it's all original in the front. Uh, all dealer parts, bumper was from the dealer, fender was from the dealer, everything was from the dealer, oil cooler was from the dealer, uh, lines were from, everything was from the dealer. So, all factory BMW parts. If anybody's interested, hit me up. The wheels that are going back on this car are these right here. These right here, they're going back on there. They got about 75% tread, I'd say. All good rims and tires, super nice. Work BS's, I'm gonna polish them up super good. And then we're gonna swap these wheels and put them on there for now. But we're getting some sweet wheels for this thing. Check this out, I already got one of them on here. Apex Racing. That right there for me is like, the perfect rim. I don't know. I don't care what people say. The, uh, Mark said that that's been overdone, but maybe that's why I like it so much. I've seen a lot of cars running these and it looks, it just looks really good. It looks super good. So that's what I'm gonna go with. I don't like and the then, color though. Huh? I don't like the color. Got we to, can paint them any color we don't want. Don't have to get different color. We can paint them any color we want. But these right here are going to go back onto the E92, so. White car, either chrome or black wheels. That's it. I know these look kind of good on this car, but they got to go back on the E92 because I feel like that's going to be a selling point for the car. You know, when you're telling them that you got work VS two piece wheels and you know, 
in the spirit of Facebook Marketplace, you say something along the lines of, it's got about eight thousand dollars of wheels, man. About 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 eight thousand, fifteen thousand with all the other upgrades. You know, Facebook Marketplace ad. But yeah, so I'm listing it, and uh, if you guys are interested, hit me up. I'll cut you a deal. Make me an offer. How about that? Make me an offer. But no trades, and don't lowball me because I know what I got. What else can I put on the ad, Nate? Absolutely no trades, and I don't need no help selling it either. Unless your granny or grandpa has a lot of money and they don't know what to do with it, and you can go borrow it and then come and buy it from me. Which is a very sensible and, well, kind of an irrational thing to do and very financially irresponsible. But if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys have a good day, and if you enjoy the content, hit that like button. Peace out.